The peace of the pine trees brought Clint Backstrom's family to Carroll County. Just the beautiful scenery that we get to live in, the tall, beautiful trees. Finding rest in their shade. But something is eating away at that comfort. And this section right here is where we first noticed the trees were dying. Killing their calm. It's hard to fight something you can't see. The Backstroms had to bring in the experts at the Georgia Forestry Commission. Yeah, you definitely have southern pine beetle. Cutting straight to the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it right there. Southern pine beetle are some of the most destructive native pests we have on our native pine forests. Walking through the woods, the southern pine beetle can be difficult to spot. They're tiny, smaller than a grain of rice, but the damage they cause is enormous. Over the past 50 years, $254 million of damage in Georgia alone. And they'll keep moving from tree to tree through the woods and keep causing damage until there's no more pine trees left. The invasions happen every six to 12 years in the southeast, killing thousands of trees. This year, it's worse than ever. Our last big outbreak was probably in the late 90s, early 2000s, so we were kind of a little overdue for it. The beetles overwhelm the tree, carving S-shaped tracks under their bark and leaving a blue stain behind, killing each tree in their path. This section of uh, healthy trees is is next if we don't get on top of it. The Georgia Forestry Commission started an assistance program to help homeowners recover from an infestation and financial devastation. It's around about $1,000 per tree if we want to go in and, and start, you know, removing them one by one and trying to get rid of them. And how many trees are you talking about? Um, I, I got a few dozen here um, that are infested. The damage killing the canopy and costing homeowners and businesses thousands. I hate that I'm losing some trees, but I hope by doing so we can get some awareness on it and allow others to save their trees. Reporting in Roopville, Caitlin Ross, 11 Alive News.